Hello, I'm Simon Hope, and um, I'm now going to just discuss the uh, new range of tools that I have, um, which are my negative rake scrapers. Um, I have two types. I have a, uh, a round, uh, both are set in uh, a heavy-duty bar just to, to limit vibration, uh, and they're mainly designed for uh, bowl work, natural edge work, uh, and square edge work. Um, what I'll do first is just explain how to sharpen them, uh, and then I'll show you how they work on the timber uh, before uh, coming to a conclusion. Um, so first of all, the tips are made out of HSS and they're cryo cooled, so they're very hard uh, inserts on there. Um, the square ones uh, ha has a slight radius, uh, and this is quite important um, for when you're doing slight curved work, and also so it doesn't ride in and, and dig too much. These edges are always taken away from the cutting edge, um, so it's nice to have that slight curve. Uh, this one's done fairly easily just on a, a, a flat pat platform uh, on your grinder uh, and the best way to actually grind it is to take the insert off grind it this way first followed by the small back edge which is on here so you can see they've actually got two different curves now the negative rake and why they're called a negative rake uh, is all to do with this front angle uh, and the fact that it's pointing down in a negative way normally if you're using a uh, con conventional scraper you have to lift the handle up in order to get that negative angle. With these, they're already put in for you, so you literally use them parallel, uh, and that negative angle is already there. Now, once they're sharpened on the grinder, quite often they can just be touched up using a diamond file. So I tend to just turn them upside down and then just force a burr on that front edge. And it's that little burr that you create on that edge that actually does the cutting for you and you'll see how well that actually cuts when we come to do it. Uh, that's a coarse one by the way uh, so coarse or medium uh, is enough to get that burr uh, on the edges. Now the round one is maybe just a little bit more tricky to keep the burr on there you can still use the diamond just to touch it up but eventually you'd have to actually put it on the grinder uh, and that one is supplied with a little mandrel so let me just quickly show you how that works. Um, small screws in the bottom just to take those out. This one mounts on this small mandrel uh, and it just allows you to mount this into a drill uh, to get it sharpened. So I put that into a battery drill, I run my grinder and very, very carefully I can actually get those angles matched up with the grinder just to touch those edges up. Now normally you would do that um, when you first buy the tool and then maybe two, three, maybe four times you can get the edge on with a diamond and then eventually you'd then go back just to put that edge on with the grinder again. So that's normally the ratio. So I'll just put that back onto the tool and then we can actually show it cutting on the timber. Ooh. So we just get that lined up in there. And I'll just use a flat screwdriver just to pinch that down tight. So, first we use the square one, and we just use it on this curve on here. Um, the tool's slightly below the centre line, so that when the tool's actually on the rest, it's actually cutting on the centre. So you can see we just need to raise the rest up slightly. Now, these are designed that they're flush at the bottom. Um, the square one also is double-edged, so you can sharpen it on the grinder twice, and you don't have to keep going back to the grinder, because you can just swap it round. So let me just get my glasses on and then we'll fire up the lathe just to show that working. Um, so I prefer to run a speed about 1500 RPM. Um, that seems to be the nice speed uh, to get the nice shavings coming off and to get a really good finish. So because the square edge they're very nice uh, to get into the corner and you can see with that front edge the, the sort of shavings that are coming off and how clean you can actually get a cut from the tool. And it's all to do, to do with that burr that's on the edge. Now quite often if you're using a, a bowl gouge, you can't quite get that curve in one hit. It might be slightly bumpy, and if you try to go back and cut again with the bowl gouge, you're actually taking more away. So it's a very good tool for fine tuning. Uh, it takes all the bevel rubs away also. So if you had a slight bump in a particular area, you can use this just to fine tune and get that curve 
perfectly round how you like it. Um, and just to demonstrate the sort of ease of this tool, um, it's literally the weight of that on there and it won't dig in. So it's a very safe, very easy tool to use. Um, you could not do that with an ordinary scraper. You would have to sort of hold on uh, fairly tight for that. But you can see, nice and easy, that will cut beautifully. Um, the end is 16 millimeter, so again, it just fits into my 16 millimeter um, handle system. Um, the round one, um, normally on the inside of bowls, but just to demonstrate how it works, uh, I'll just use it on this area. And again, you can actually see the bevel rubs on there, and it's slightly bumpy, and why I would actually want to use this tool, uh, just to smooth all of those out. You can use it in both directions, so it's not a particularly push or pull cut, uh, it will work in both directions. Of course, with the round one, you're only actually using a small amount, so you get to rotate that round, um, so it will last a long time once you've actually got that sharpened edge. Now, other um, reasons to use these tools would be with natural edge work. Uh, I just have a bowl just to give you some example of why I would want to use this tool. Very good on uneven and natural edge work, um, where it's very hard to keep the bevel rubbing. These don't actually need a bevel rubbing to work. You just need to uh, float uh, across the surface for it to actually do its shear cutting. Yep, so here you'd use it on a natural edge uh, and the flat one you'd actually use uh, on square work like this. You'd have to run the speed at a reasonable speed uh, but this is where you would uh, want to use uh, the straight one. Um, so that's my negative rate scrapers. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay.